Hello students, welcome to EduCell. In this video, we are going to discuss about a heart reduction, which is like independent set to click, or you can say using click, we are trying to find out independent set. Okay. So the problem for this maximum click we are finding, like the what is click and what is independent set, first we should discuss it, then only we can go towards it. Input will be given to you. Okay, like G is represented as V E means V represents as vertices, E represents as edges. There is an integer we are introducing which is less than V. It means the number of nodes we are having that should be less than means if there are n nodes like n vertices, we should keep the k as certain uh, less than V or equivalent to the V means it might be 8 or might be less than 8. Okay, so uh, what a click should be, what a independent should be you will just think about that one a b like here is c here is d okay a graph is given we should have to find out what is independent side and what is click okay click is if all the vertices i'm just completing that one Okay, so if all the vertices are completing H, then only we can say, or I'm just using this E also, the same example we are taking, which we will be doing in future. Okay, this is one graph given to us. We are trying to find out click. Okay, I'm just changing the color. As I told you, the click is what are the uh, uh, vertices you are picking. The vertices should connect all the vertices means if for this for this graph if I'm saying I'm picking D C E as click is it yes or no definitely yes why because if I'm picking D I can connect C as well as I can connect E if I'm picking C I can connect to D I can connect to E if I'm picking E, I can connect to D as well as I can connect to C. This is what? It is a click. Okay. One more answer also we can expect. Okay. This is one click we can expect. From here, can we say ABC as a click? If I'm picking A, it will connect B, it will connect D, it will connect C. Yes, of course, we can say A, B, C, then D is click. Definitely yes. Why? Because A is connected both and if I'm picking B, I can connect to A, I can connect to D, I can connect to C. Okay, if it is there, definitely we can say b is also part of this click now for c it is connected to a it is connected to b it is connected to d also okay for d also if i am picking d then i can connect for both a b and c this is what it represents from these two clicks from this graph we are creating we can expect two different clicks okay so for two different clicks which one is maximum that we should target on like the maximum means maximum number of nodes or vertices within that set okay means maximum set of vertices or nodes within the click is called as maximum click okay so here the maximum is this one which we can say the maximum click from this graph okay now for the independent set i'm taking the same example for independent set a b d here is c i'm taking the same example to give you the better idea about how to find a what is independent set or click okay so here independent set means 
if I am picking and is changing the color now, if I am picking A, I need to discard which are connected to A. If I am picking A, I need to discard the connected uh, edges or to connected vertices or uh, immediate connected vertices of the selected uh, vertex. Okay. Next, I have to pick E then. There is no other chance if I am picking A. Okay, means I must write A, E is independent set. I am just representing it IS. Okay. Only one click or only one independent set is possible? No. More than one could be possible. Okay. So you can check if I pick one, so I can expect this one. Okay. If I am saying uh, instead of A, I am just writing. No, I want to pick B. Okay, I am just put in double click. If I am doing this, I have to disconnect or I have to uh, you know, avoid the connected or immediate connected vertices. I am just picking B. Now I have to avoid all the connected one. Next, I have only one option is E, which is independent set. I hope it is clear to you. Okay, so this is how we can say uh, the independent set, finding independent set is easy and finding the click is also easy. But we should have to remember one thing. So we are, whenever we are reducing, we are not exactly getting the click. We are getting the maximum click. Okay, there might be a problem I have seen everywhere. The content when it is written, they are focusing as a click. But it is maximum click we are finding out. Okay, here I am giving the title as click, but the, the click problem whenever we are solving the click should be maximum click. Here I am just writing as hit maximum click. We are using maximum click. We are finding independent set. Okay, or else you can change it if you are taking as a minimum one. Minimum click also we are finding the independent set, not an issue. But the algorithm now we should focus. The algorithm is construct g dash which is this one okay v dash will con uh, consider all the vertices with the previous one for all i j not e add i j to e dash means it represents as complement complement of g complement of g means or we are writing in this order complement of g means if a b and c okay this is one graph if this is a graph g where v e are vertices and edges okay so what we are doing now for complement to that one is complement to that one is g dash which is v dash e dash will be written as like it is written ij not in e we will add that in e dash means if this a to c and b to c is there we should avoid that one and instead of avoiding that one in g dash we are just which is not connected that we are connecting it this is what the complement of g it is written here so which will take the complexity for loop is written it will give us the complexity as n big o fan okay now i'm just writing sideways the complexities also this is a graph we are creating might be for creating a creation of graph it depends on two different uh, like adjacency matrix adjacency list uh, big of n and jo whatever it is there okay big of n to the uh, n uh, to the two which is if you are taking a matrix uh, uh, you know matrix form adjacency matrix form if you are taking adjacency list which is a uh, link list okay so for the link list, the complexity would be big of v plus e, okay, or big of v square if you are taking a matrix. So this is what we should know. But I am just writing in this order. Suppose it is n square, okay. Now we are calling click. Once we convert to a complement, once complement is done, so what we have to do is we have to run the click. Then only we can find out. Uh, the click is about a maximum click then we will expect the independent set 
the complexity of independent set you should remember as uh, big of 2 to the power n into n square this is the complexity of independent set but uh, using p space as i have seen in wikipedia it is written big of 1.1996 to the power n using p space they found the result for independent set okay and for a uh, click the complexity we will be finding out as big of n to the power k into k to the power n okay this is how we are finding so in this case both are equivalent like here k here is 2 to k is constant whenever we are writing in this order we are exactly getting the values okay but we're indirectly what we are doing we should keep in mind that we are reducing with a known problem okay so with that we can say n to the power k to k to the power n okay so indirectly the maximum value is represented as click so click value will be equivalent to the independent set through complexity also we have covered it now i have kept one example through which we it will be very much easy for us to understand okay so first the graph is given from that graph what we are going to find out the complement to it or else you can think opposite to that one okay so like we know the maximum one is this one like one two three five is a click for us this is a click one two three five is a maximum click for us maximum click okay and here if you complement it and you must write g dash okay so the g dash which is complement 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 of g this complement of g will be the where we are actually not having any age we are adding that age here the independent set we are getting as this one okay if i'm picking one i have to remove this six uh, as well as four if i'm picking two i have to remove four and if I'm picking 5, I have to remove 6. If I'm picking 3, I have to remove 6. So, definitely the independent set which we are getting is 1, 2, 3, 5. As our independent set. Okay. So, once you do the complement, if G converts to G dash, we are getting the click here as maximum, but there the independent set we are getting. Vice versa is also possible. So, you should remember note vice versa is also possible in this case like independent set to click i must write the full details about it independent set set to or might be in this way you can write is possible as well as independent set is also possible okay vice versa is possible so I must write possible what we are doing we are just complement g complement to g dash means if h is present here in complement what we are doing remove the previous is previously connected is okay and and generate or might be create 
new non previously non connected edge okay this is how we can expect to convert from independent head to click or click to set independent set i hope it is clearly understood to you if any problem you can comment below thank you have a good day